Lakers have now won two straight, bringing their win total to 15 this season after a 111-95 victory over the Orlando Magic with Tanya Ganguly and Lindsay Theory for the Los Angeles Times. Luke Walton said Julius Reno and D'Angelo Russell are showing up more prepared. They're more professional. It's showing up in the box score recently for both of those guys as well. It is, and the thing that they really like about what these guys have been doing is that it's not just those stats. D'Angelo Russell's shot is falling right now, but the thing that's been really impressive about him is he's seeing the game better. He's finding his teammates, had a couple great passes today that we saw, and a couple games ago, too, there were some that you just say, wow, he's finding guys in the right spot, and that's what Walton really wants from them. Julius Randle had that triple-double a few games ago. He's being more aggressive. He's figuring out how to play make for his teammates, and that kind of stuff is what they want from them. They have really high expectations for these guys. Guys, and they're two of their lottery picks, and the future of this team really depends on them. Brandon Ingram went to get some extra work in. He found that the Lakers have to share a court with the defenders, so he had to go down the street to a gym. He laughed. That's something that would probably never happen at Duke. It probably won't happen again at the Lakers after they get that new facility built, but he's really coming along now almost halfway through his rookie season. It was funny. There was a game a few weeks ago, actually Christmas, when Brandon Ingram got a technical foul. Mm -hmm. And after that technical, he was a different player. He was more aggressive. He was more confident. He was getting into the paint and really asserting himself. And that's something that Luke Walton has really wanted to see. And they, at the time, they were trying to figure out how to get that out of him, even if he doesn't get a technical. Mm -hmm. And I think we're starting to see that. He's learning how to use his physicality a lot better. He's not getting pushed around as much anymore when he's mm -hmm. in the paint, even though he's still the same size that he was when the season started. He's skinny, but that's not affecting him as much as it used to early on. We tend to pay a lot of attention to offense. Walton wants his team to play, pay attention to defense. That showed up in the third quarter. Only nine points scored, 220 shooting by the Magic. It looked like an inspired effort. It really does lead the offensive charge for this team. It does, and that creates energy that this team is starting to figure out that what happens when they make these great defensive plays at home. Mm -hmm. I mean, we saw it late in the game. Julius Randle blocked a shot and then wrestled for the rebound, and it ended up being a steal and turned into some Laker points, and this place went nuts. Mm -hmm. And that's what Wallen keeps trying to keeps trying to teach and preach to his players is that when you do that, that's what happens. Defense leads to offense. And I mean, in the third quarter, the Lakers didn't allow the Magic to score more than nine points. That's insane. 15 wins. It's progress for this young Lakers team. They'll be back at it on Tuesday when they play the Blazers. With Tanya, I'm Lindsay for the LA Times.